Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to play with mouse traps. Mouse traps are actually quite powerful. Wow! <laughs> Let's see if we can make a weapon out of it. The functionality of this thing that just costs a Euro 49 in my local hardware store is very simple. This little latch is holding back this really tightly wound tension spring and um, when a mouse comes and eats something from it then wow it breaks its neck <laughs> quite some force so the basic idea is to mount two of them to a slingshot frame side by side so that when you draw out with just string instead of rubber you cock back these uh, little spring parts here and then when you release the two uh, springs are shifting this up at the same time, uh, releasing the shot. First let's find out what the draw weight is. So we're cocking this and um, the top draw weight is about 3 kilos. Now we are sawing out the frame and it has to have a very wide fork because the uh, arms are swinging out and they should not meet in the middle of course. Okay, this is the basic shape of the slingshot. As you see, the mouse traps are far enough apart. And later on, we will just shoot like this. And now we are sawing out the scales. Next, we roughen up the uh, uh, original frame for the handle so uh, that the glue will have some place to set on. And this time, we're going to use hot glue. Now we are using the power file to put the handles into shape. Okay, this is now already pretty nice to hold. We'll just take the file and smoothen it out a bit. Now we put some oil on it and sand it a bit. It's not great because it's really cheap wood. But it's not awful either, and it's of course very comfortable because it has this ram bone handle. Note that I also put some screws in here, so that later on when we mount the uh, mouse traps, the uh, plywood isn't splicing apart. Next, we drill some holes into the mouse trap right here, where later on it will be mounted to the frame. And now we simply screw and mount the mouse trap to the fork. So that's now looking like this. And later on, let me draw out like that. That's how we will shoot. Okay, our little mouse trap slingshot is nearing its completion. Both mouse traps are solidly mounted, and this works. <laughs> now we've attached the bands and the slingshot pouch. Of course, the draw is rather short, but it is functional. Like this. <laughs> Okay, let's shoot this 60mm glass marble. It's fairly accurate once you get the hang of it. Okay, let's test it a little further. We're shooting 8mm steel balls now. Pretty good. Will it break a bottle? Let's find out. Almost. Wow, it works. <laughs> With mouse traps. <laughs> okay, this obviously isn't very powerful, but it is a fun plinker. But now the idea is next stage replace the string with rubber bands so that in theory the mouse traps accelerate the whole system, giving the bullet additional speed. Let's find out. Okay, now we have replaced the string with rubber. It's not a very strong rubber band, but it does the job. If you draw this out, then at some point the mouse traps will swing in like this and then both accumulate. And if you release, both accelerate the ball. Let's try shooting this rusty 50 mm steel ball. Wow! 
Wow, now we're talking. Okay, we will now try to shoot it over the crony and test it against the slingshot with the same band set but without any mouse traps. Okay, the result is 44 meters and 34 with a 15 millimeter steel ball. Now we are repeating the test with a normal band set. Um, it's the same dimensions, very thin. I can also use a lot thicker bands, but just for the test, I just think a one layer theoband gold band is good enough. And again, a 50 millimeter steel ball. The result is 41 meters 71. That's definitely slower. Probably not very significant, but there is a difference, I would say. So the mouse traps have some effect. Okay, now we will film it with the high speed and see how the mouse traps react if they are closing nice and even or if it's completely uh, awkward. Okay, the high speeds prove it. This clearly works. The velocity of the mousetrap and the velocity of the bullet have to add because, as you saw, the uh, bullet was still here when the mousetraps were already closed. So they have accelerated the bands. Exciting, isn't it? Okay, we're continuing to work with the CO2 cartridge, but now it's only a sideshow. <laughs> uh, last time we had the problem that the uh, CO2 cartridge wasn't pierced. So now what I did is I added this uh, threading here and also I put a washer and a, and a nut on here. So this means that if it now pierces the skull, it should be stopped by this and all the force should go into piercing the CO2 cartridge. So as a test, we will be using this uh, head that already got smashed, but it has an intact front and we will see if it works before we waste our last um, good Ivan head. <coughs> <laughs> so that was pretty funny <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it because that's it for today <laughs> thanks and bye bye ouch